Hi, this is Daniel and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to update um, your WordPress website um, and use Backup Buddy um, as a precaution for your updates. So with WordPress, um, most WordPress websites um, have a lot of plugins installed um, into to help with certain features of, of the site uh, and these plugins that we have here are constantly being updated uh, for a few reasons one is for security reasons the other is that sometimes um, bugs can occur in 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 plugins and they need to, to be updated um, another reason why people update plugins is because they improve the plugins um, and improve the functionality so a reason why we need to keep these plugins, there's some of the reasons why we need to keep these plugins up to date, um, especially from a security standpoint. If uh, a plugin uh, gets um, compromised in terms of security and you have that plugin on your on your site, it can also be a vulnerability for your own website. Another thing we, we need to do from time to time is update the WordPress, um, the WordPress uh, CMS. Um, and it will give you a, a, um, a notification that you need to do so. Um, so when WordPress needs to be updated in this section here, you will have a, um, an option to update automatically. But before we do any updates in WordPress, I always do a backup of my site. And I do a backup of the site using a premium plugin called Backup Buddy. Um, backup Buddy has a lot of really, really cool features. You can schedule automatic backups. You can back up your entire website to a um, to your your Dropbox account or your Google Drive account, or you can do a manual backup to your computer uh, and store that away on a hard drive. Um, so for more info on Backup Buddy, go to ithemes.com forward slash um, and then click on the Backup Buddy tab. There are videos on training um, for more advanced um, features. And if you go to the training section, you can also find some videos there. Also, if you go to YouTube and type in Backup Buddy, you'll probably also find some resources there on how to use Backup Buddy to its uh, maximum potential. So I'm just going to quickly take you through how to do a backup um, is you can either go to your dashboard and then navigate to this section here and click backup now or you can go scroll down your navigation section here and click on backup buddy and then click backup. So we're going to to create a complete backup. Um, the difference in terms of backups, um, uh, a complete backup is a, back, a full backup of your, your website, and including the WordPress installation. Um, the database only backup is a backup of your content um, on your, your site. So, I prefer to do a complete backup um, just in case uh, my site does go down and I need to go back restore an old version. Um, I find that it's it's easier to just restore from the complete backup. Um, sometimes when we do the reason why we have to back up is sometimes when we update plugins or WordPress, very rarely, but it does happen, is that your site gets an error in it or a bug um, based on the updating of one of the plugins or WordPress. So um, when you do, um, so that's why we take a backup to to just in case we, something serious happens to your website and you need to, like if it gets hacked or if someone actually deletes some files in your directory in your in your on your server, um, then at least you've got a backup and you can really easily restore it to its original working form. Um, so I'm going to click complete backup and Backup Buddy is going to take us through its 
um, script. If you have problems with this script uh, and it doesn't go all the way through, we, there are a few things you can do um, to change the backup buddy settings. Uh, and I'll just take you through those uh, after I've, I've created this backup. Um, and if that doesn't work, you can go to the backup iThemes website and look for more information there on how to um, fix that. So we can see here it's gone through all the steps successfully and then what you have to do here is you can either download the backup file to your computer or you can send to an off-site destination such as Dropbox or Google Drive or another um, platform such as those. So the download started. Okay, so the backup's created. Um, now that we've created the backup, I can go to the plugins page and um, update the plugins that need updating. Um, if to know um, if if you're not sure if plugins need updating, that's what the two means. Two, uh, this notification is refers to the amount of, of plugins that need to be updated. Um, it also refers to it here. So we're just going to click plugins, installed plugins. and navigate down to the plugins that need updating. So here's one here. So we can tick that one and we can tick this one and tick this one and you can then scroll back up, change to update and then apply. That will update all three at once. The other way to do it is to update each one manually. So to do update man or one by one, should I say, is just click on this link here, update now. Wait for this to finish um, updating. Now it's updated before you move on to the next one. Um, this particular plugin, WP Bakery Visual Composer, Unfortunately, we can't um, do updates for this plugin because it, this version of the plugin came bundled uh, when, I, when I purchased the, the theme for this website. Um, so you don't have to worry about um, updating this particular plugin. Um, never navigate off this page while the plugins are being um, updated because that could definitely there's definitely something that could cause a break in your site always wait until you get this this page here that says um, just that says all updates have been completed and then we can return to where we need to go so if I reload the website now I'm just going to check to make sure um, the website's still working and there are no breaks in the site. Like I said, it's very, very rare that um, a website is, is, gets, gets a break from an update, but it has happened um, over my four years of, of developing in WordPress. So you can just scroll through and quickly and check if everything's still there. And everything seems to be really um, as it should be. Perfect. So um, there's one more thing I wanted to mention is that if a plugin update does cause your website to, to, to be broken in some kind of way or glitchy, the best thing to do is go back to your plugin page, your plugins page, and disable the plugins that you recently updated. So let's just say I recently updated um, Social Pug. What I'll do is I'll click deactivate and then go back to the website and check if, if, if deactivating that, that plugin has solved the issue uh, that, it's, that has been created on the website. Um, that's, the, that's the easiest way to fix something and then I would say if you can find out which 
um, plugin is causing the break in your site, just leave it un- uh, deactivated um, and get in contact me. Uh, get in contact with me uh, if you feel that that's causing some other problem with the site, um, as we may need to look at um, in- incorporating a different plugin solution. Um, last thing I want to go through is that the settings of Backup Buddy. Um, from time, sometimes um, Backup Buddy ha- doesn't work um, for for older sites because it's just they, they become incompatible. So what you can do is you can go to your settings, uh, your advanced settings, and change to this section here and change the default global backup mode to the classic version and see if that helps. Um, this, the next thing you can do is you can go back to general settings and this is a bit advanced so I won't go through this but you might find that you've got you've got other files on your on your server um, that is causing um, backup buddy not to work. So all these files here are the files that are help, uh, that are um, directly linked to your website. However, you might at some point decide you want to put other files in in the in on the server on this website server, and that could impact um, backup buddy. So then you would just um, exclude backup buddy from trying to back up those particular files and that could solve your problem. Uh, so that's all there is to my, um, updating um, web, uh, WordPress and keeping it up to date and nice and secure and also how to use Backup Buddy. I hope that's really helped you and um, I wish you the best of luck with, your, with the maintenance of your website. Once again, I'm Daniel Scalturas. Uh, thank you very much for watching.